Hey TJ, uh, I think it's really cool that you are answering questions from your subscribers, at least the ones that want to make videos. So I hope you answer this one. Um, it's kind of a two-part question. I was wondering how you define objectivity. Um, I think that it's, it's a word that's used positively to describe a stance when trying to come up with a moral solution. And um, it sort of implies that you're excluding your, uh, your preferences or emotions to come up with a solution that doesn't necessarily benefit you, but that probably has a more a utilitarian um, outcome. Do you think that it's possible for a human being to be objective? The second part of the question is, um, do, you, do you think that there is a subjective reality that is separate from an objective reality? Um, I think that everyone can agree that human beings are a lot better at measuring and manipulating the physical world. Um, but the equations and tools that we use to get from point A to point B, do you think that these necessarily um, reflect the actual mechanisms um, that are going on to get from point A to point B? Um, or do you think that it, uh, it's simply one version of how um, we can, you know, navigate or create um, something from something else? Um, if there is a, an objective reality, then what if people can never truly access it? You know, um, I, I don't even, personally I don't even know how to go about thinking about objective reality. Like, the way I, like the first thing that comes to my mind is imagining a point in space and then imagining looking at it from an infinite number of angles and then just doing this for every point in space. And the point itself is an abstract concept um, because, you know, a point in space is, what is that? It's a, it's a point. But, um, see, I, I even think about it like that because I'm a human and vision is my primary, um, my primary mode of, my primary sensory mode, so, um, that's what I, the first thing I go to when I try to imagine objectivity. So I can't. So if we can never really access um, objectivity, then how should we go about thinking about it? And why is it important to think about obje objectivity and what place does it have in um, philosophical discussion? So um, yeah, thanks for listening and I hope that you will answer uh, at least some of these questions. Okay, thanks.